Hello, so last week I made a video about painting from life and trying to show some of the advantages that that has when you're painting and of course the, the greatest one is learning how light works and I think most people would agree that nature is the greatest teacher but I think that a lot of people shy away from drawing from life and I was like that as well uh, be, simply because you feel you just can't or that you don't have the talent to do so. However, deep down, um, although I found it difficult to draw from life and was getting quite frustrated with it, I always had this feeling that I could learn. I think that you can learn to draw in very much the same way as you can learn to write something. And I think that people who are watching this video who can draw have either learnt to or have taught themselves or much more rarely actually do have a talent. But the majority of us um, are not born with that. They're, we need to be shown how to. That being said, I do also believe that that talent is inside all of us. Um, it's in our DNA. For example, have you seen those beautiful cave drawings that were made 14,000 BC? Um, or have you watched small children and how they pick up a crayon or a a pen and they make those beautiful marks uh, with such confidence. So in us all there is a talent, it just needs to come out. So I've, I've learned how to draw and in the next part of my video I'm going to show you how to transfer something from life onto the canvas. On my palette I have a bit of burnt umber and to loosen the paint I've dipped my paintbrush into some odourless solvent. I won't use the solvent again while I'm painting, I only use it at this point when I'm mapping out the painting and then to clean the brushes. The paintbrush I'm using has two purposes, firstly to paint and secondly to help me measure. Imagine a line running from the top of the bottle to the canvas, something like this. I can make the same line by holding my paintbrush out horizontally. If you have a pen with you now, you could do the same. So basically, I can find the main points of the painting, the bottom of the espresso machine, the distance between the cup and the espresso machine, um, the height of the wine bottle and so on and then transfer all that onto the canvas. Okay so I'm now going to speed myself up and while you watch you'll notice that as I transfer um, the lines onto the canvas they are going to be different to how you see the things and that's simply because the camera is at a different angle. I'm higher and a bit more over to the left, but as you can see, the whole setup will fit nicely onto the canvas. You might be wondering what the point of all this is, and the main thing is proportions. And even though I've learnt to draw, my eyes can still fool me. And quite often you'll find that if you are concentrating on something, it'll get bigger. So using this method, I'm training my eyes to accurately find the proportions. I say accurately, that is the goal, but of course 
um, we know that it's not possible to be 100% accurate. And more importantly, it's not actually necessary. As you can see, I'm building up very simple geometrical shapes. It's always easier to start with straight lines and then go on to the curves. So as you can see, I'm not really making beautiful lines and I've already made a couple of mistakes. But what I can do as well is use the solvent to uh, take away what I don't need. And that's the wonderful thing about oil painting. You can make a, a line that um, doesn't work and you can just go over it and uh, keep changing the painting while you work on it. So moving on, I'm now going to block out the uh, bottle using the burnt umber without any solvent. And I'm doing this because I'm interested in the um, the label. Uh, it has to be the right proportion to the uh, bottle because I'm going to have to paint a portrait. So I need to have that the right size. I will be coming back to this painting in the next video. But now I've got something especially for you. This is something you can try straight away. All you need is a sketch pad, a pen and a couple of things to draw. And you can experiment and see whether this helps your drawing in any way, especially with the proportions. I'm not saying that with this method you are miraculously going to be able to draw, but by practicing and using this method, you will see progress. Remember, this is not about comparing yourself to Michelangelo or to someone who starts writing and wants to be like Shakespeare. This is all about making progress, feeling in control of what you can draw and ultimately having the confidence to explore your path as a painter. And all it takes is getting hold of a method that works. As the saying goes, there's no time like the present. And I congratulate you for watching all the way through this video, but you must have done so for a reason. So have a go at this and let me know how it went for you. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. In the next video, I'm going to concentrate on how to make your paintings start to pop out of the canvas.